So I'm gonna show you how to put together this modular hydroponic system. I just washed everything off, so five gallon bucket. This is the lid. It's made up six individual pieces. You can use nuts if you would like. Um, this holds together just fine as long as you get a thread that's big enough to bite through. Um, you can get different configurations. There's holes so that you can run the power or whatever you need. You want to have access to pour water. Um, three of them need to have these because that is how the system connects. So, real simple. Just a little channel off. No big deal. So, take the bucket, lid on top. a pump. Yes, this little one will work. Got hose. Got a zip tie. Got a connector. Pump. screw holes if you want to. I don't. Sometimes you get a little sag, but no big deal. I would connect it, but it's just demo purposes. These guys are a little dirty. I've used these, but uh, yours will come clean. <laughs> and now it's got a symbol. So Start off with a little spacer. These are available in different sizes, 60 millimeters, there's 120 millimeters as well. And when you get to these, they have a little routing for the hose. So, feed it through, slide it down, line it up, and twist to lock. We're just going to repeat this. So you can have different spacers. Um, you know, think ahead about what kind of plants you're going to have in there, and what kind of room they're going to need. Are they going to go up? Are they drape down? Are they bushy? That kind of stuff. So that'll determine how many slots you want, and then how much spacer. You don't have to do any if you don't want to. We can. That's what's great about the modular system. Next year you decide you want to do something else, next season, you can stack these right on top of each other if you want, no spacers needed. Or, you know, put two of them, Go do whatever you need, right? that's the whole point. And at the end, got this guy is going to distribute the water so that helps to make like this rainfall effect and on that side connect up the hose this hose is a bit too big if you've got that problem all you gotta do is just get like a zip tie or a little um, hose clamp of some kind and just tighten that on or you could just get the right hose For right now, we'll just simulate that. Let's add one more just to get this 
height. Good. See, sorry for the dirt. Just doing this on the porch, so yeah, that would attach here. Twist to lock. This little guy just sits like that, and that's going to help just distribute the water. <clears throat> And then there's a couple different options for the lid. I like this vented one. Make sure you get a little bit of air in there. Good flow. And now you're done. So that's the entire thing. Some of them, this is an option as well. You can print with or without these holes. Uh, I believe these are M3 or M4 screws, screw hole size. Um, I use these for various different things. You can tie off to them. Um, I have one actually right over here that I use. I just replanted it, so. Um, you can see how this all works. Got some air plants on the top because I've actually got it down in there a bit. <laughs> trying to trying something. Let's see if that experiment works out. And then I have this one connected to a smart switch. So I can just come in and Turn it on, and you start to click, now it's running. I have this one set on a schedule, so every couple hours it runs for like 30 minutes. There you go. I don't have the thing on the top, the other one does, because I want the water to come up a little bit and get to create some moisture for these air plants. But again, modular, so you can take things out, you can put things back in as you want. Um, Another extra piece I've got on this one is this float switch. So that's the line coming in, and then inside, let's see if I can get a shot of this without breaking everything. There we go. Focus. There's a float switch in there. That just lets me easily fill it back up. And there's different options. I use pool noodles sometimes. Let's see, I've got this one in the little starter. This one's in the Lekka balls. I've got some old kale that hopefully will come back. Looks like it's not gonna, but see, this stuff was nice and strong. So, works great. One other thing I would definitely recommend is getting some netting like this. This is just like regular screen door type stuff. Um, and then I just cut it to fit and I'll cut just the tiniest holes for things to get through and that makes sure that no bugs can get in there. Um, if you live somewhere with mosquitoes like I do, you know that's a big deal. You can't have standing water. So this simple thing will keep them out. Highly recommended and cheap. Sometimes free, you can find extra scraps of this stuff laying around. And